North Korean leaders are pushing ahead with plans to strengthen their nuclear development program. The state-run Korean Central News Agency says scientists in the reclusive nation will restart a reactor that can produce plutonium. The unit is located in Yongbyon, north of the capital Pyongyang. The reactor generates electricity, and operators can use the spent fuel to make plutonium. North Korean scientists have used plutonium in experiments, and analysts believe they'll build several nuclear weapons with it. Authorities shut down the reactor in 2007 and destroyed part of its infrastructure. That followed an agreement with members of the six-party talks. The group comprises the two Koreas, the U.S., China, Japan, and Russia. North Korean officials say their decision to restart all nuclear-related facilities at Nyongbyon is part of efforts to deal with an electricity shortage. They add it's in line with leader Kim Jong-un's pledge to rebuild the economy and strengthen the nuclear program at the same time. The spokesperson for South Korea's foreign ministry called the announcement extremely regrettable. North Korea should keep their promise and agreements. And they should maintain denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Cho Taeyong said the South Korean government will watch developments closely. Japanese government leaders are also weighing in on North Korea's decision. Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihide Suga criticized the plan to restart the reactor. It's a provocative act that goes against the six-party talks agreement. It constitutes a violation of UN Security Council resolutions. Japan needs to treat this issue as a matter of utmost concern. Suga had a Japan, a Japan will work on this issue with the U.S. and South Korea as well as China and Russia. China is North Korea's closest ally, but government officials there aren't happy about the decision to fire up the reactor. North Korea's announcement is deplorable, and we are on alert. We believe in dialogue and negotiation in order to deal with the situation. Sanctions would not solve the problem fundamentally. Hong Lei says the situation on the Korean Peninsula is complicated and sensitive. He's urging relevant parties to keep calm and exercise restraint.